I knew 2023 turkey season was going to be different than last year because my dad had to go into surgery and couldn't take me opening weekend. Our great friend and neighbor Scott and Kathy said he could take me opening weekend and I stayed at their house and boy did we have fun. The night before the first day of hunting, we went scouting and we heard a few times back in the woods and we were calling back a little bit and we knew where they were. They were right next to the field that we were going to go hunting in the next morning so we felt good about the spot. We had a vine set up ready for the next morning. First thing in the morning, they were gobbling all around us. <laughs> so we hear a dog up there. We hear a couple up there. We're hoping that they're gonna fly down in the field to give us a chance to shoot them. Turkey started, toms and hens started coming in. We, we thought that they were coming closer, but they were just strutting. And the hens led them back to the woods. But then we knew, we knew that there was a tom up in the tree still, and he flew down but never gave us a good shot. So the second morning we went to Cummings Woods we didn't see much for turkeys. Then we went down, we got down and we went to the turkey tree and we called one in but never gave us a good shot. one of the funnest days of turkey hunting because they were all over the place and they were gobbling a bunch and we got to follow them wherever we heard the most gobbles. Then Wednesday morning dad said that he was feeling good enough so he could take me out and he said only if I could carry up some of the stuff. We went and got them in the barn and above Scott's pond and we didn't we were hearing gobbles on the other side of the road. Then we went to get out of the blind and we saw a big bunch of those running in front of us. Then we went down to the truck and we drove around to get into the turkey tree or yeah the turkey tree. Then we walked in and we heard some gobbles. And then we got in the blind, and we heard three toms that were really close, hoping that they would come close enough for a good shot.
long beard, bud. What do you think? behind Scott's house and there wasn't any gobbles but there was a whole bunch of gobbles across the road so my dad said maybe let's go across the road and see if we can get on some so we came over here and we heard these ones gobble a whole bunch so then we just kind of waited for them to come in and then I got it I'm sure part of this one it's a big one 